Let's try to solve these problems. Find the derivative y prime. So let's start with 1. y is equal to 5. Okay, so remember the formula that the derivative of any constant, c, is equal to 0. So since y is equal to the constant 5, its derivative y prime is equal to 0. For number 2, we have y is equal to x. Again, we can just remember the formula that the derivative of x is equal to 1. So since y is equal to x, its derivative is equal to 1. For number 3, we have y is equal to 3x. Okay? So, it's just the same on the previous problem. It's just that there's an extra coefficient of 3 in the x. So, if that's the case, you just need to copy the 3 and then multiply it by the derivative of x. So, the derivative of x is equal to 1. So, therefore, y prime is equal to 3 times 1 or 3. For number 4, we have y is equal to negative 4x cubed. So this time, we can apply the power formula for derivatives, which is, so the derivative of x raised to n is equal to n, x raised to n minus 1. So for the derivative of y, y prime, so it's negative 4 is just a constant, so I just need to copy that. Then multiply by the derivative of x cubed. So applying this formula, we can bring down the exponent of 3. So that will be 3. Then copy the same base x. Then we need to subtract 1 from the exponent of 3. So this will be x raised to 3 minus 1. So simplifying this, we will have negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. x raised to 3 minus 1 or 2. So y prime is equal to negative 12 x squared. For number 5, we have y is equal to the square root of x. So, whenever you are given a radical expression, you can transform that into fractional exponent first so that you can apply the power rule. So, we know that y equal to square root of x. Square root of x can be written also as x raised to 1 half, right? And therefore, we can now apply the power rule to find the y prime. So, y prime will be bring down the exponent of x which is 1 half, then copy the same base x, subtract 1 from the exponent 1 half, so we will have y prime is equal to 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1 or negative 1 half. So you can have this answer or you can transform this having a positive exponent. So it's the same as 1 over 2 x raised to 1 half applying the law of negative exponent. Next for number 6 we have y is equal to 1 over x squared. So when your power of x is under the denominator, so you can apply the negative law of exponent, you can make that y is equal to x to the negative 2 first so that you can apply the power rule. Okay? So therefore, y prime will become, so bring down the exponent of negative 2, then copy base x, again subtract 1 from the exponent negative 2, so we will have y prime is equal to negative 2, x raised to so negative 2 minus 1, that's negative 3. So you can have this answer or you can write that with positive exponent. So it's equal to negative 2 over x raised to the third power. For number 7, we have y is equal to 1 over the cube root of x. Again, we have a radical expression. So likewise on problem number 5, we transform first this cube root of x to fractional exponent. So that's equal to 1 over cube root of x is the same as x raised to 1 third. And doing the same as in problem number 6, the x raised to 1 third is under the denominator. So you can bring that up to the numerator by making its exponent negative. So we now have y is equal to x to the negative one third. So we can apply power rule. Y prime will be bring down the exponent of negative one third. Then copy base x. Then subtract one from the exponent negative one third. So we will have y prime is negative one third x raised to negative one third minus one or negative four thirds. So you can also write this as negative one over three x raised to 4 over 3. Next, for number 8, we have y is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. So this time, if you are given a function or expression that has more than one term, in this example, three terms, you can find the derivative by differentiating each term. 
So for this, we have y prime differentiating the first term. So we just copy the constant 3 times the derivative of x squared. That will be 2 x raised to 2 minus 1. Then for the second term, just copy the constant negative 2 times the derivative of x, which is 1. Then plus the derivative of 1, which is just a constant, we know that the derivative is 0. So simplifying, we have y prime equal to 3 times 2 or 6, x raised to 2 minus 1 or 1, or don't need to write the exponent if it's just 1, then minus 2 times 1 or 2, then plus 0, no need to write. So therefore, the final answer is 6x minus 2. Okay, now it's your turn to try to solve these problems and just comment your answers.